Hey guys, it's Harry from Yugatech, and at a budget of around 25,000 pesos, there are two strong contenders that are really vying for your attention. The all-new Samsung Galaxy A55 5G, along with the Realme 12 Pro Plus 5G. Both of these phones boast impressive yet distinct features that can significantly sway your decision-making in choosing which one will be your next daily driver. So, without further ado, here's our review comparison, and we'll see which one of these phones is worth your money. Now, at first glance, any techie would know which phone is which just based on the smartphone's design. Let's start with the Samsung. The Galaxy A55 continues with their iconic minimalist design language that has been used in many Samsung flagship phones along with Adnan's flagship models over the years. It easily screams Samsung phone at any glance, but comparing it to last year's model, it's barely different from the Galaxy A54, at least from afar. But as you look into the details of this phone, you will start to notice the little design changes that Samsung made to this all-new model. Our unit is finished in what's called the Awesome Lilac colorway, and this particular colorway gets a layer of iridescence which can be seen along here. Now, as you'll notice the rainbow hues as light hits it from different angles, this wasn't the case when it was with the Galaxy A54. One bigger change is that the phone now comes with a sweet aluminum frame. And in my humble opinion, this gives the A55 a more premium look. Users will also feel a little bit of texture with the frame's metallic brush semi-gloss finish. However, having a flat frame all around kind of compromises the phone's ergonomics, especially if the user has smaller hands. As a result, holding the phone may become uncomfortable when you're using it for longer periods. On the other hand, Realme is technically doing the same thing. The Realme 12 Pro Plus retains this previous design language as with the Realme 11 Pro series, but out of the box, you can easily tell what the differences are. Despite the same circular camera island, the camera lenses themselves are arranged differently. They are now aligned in a more grid-like manner, unlike the Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G's design. Adding to that is the camera island's golden fluted bezel that definitely adds a more premium look. Gone are the decorative stitches, but it still has this diamond pattern line that extends from the top to the bottom, all on the rear. The back panel itself is made of vegan leather, adding to a more eco-friendly prestige to the phone's overall aesthetics. One key difference that we like on the Realme 12 Pro Plus over the Galaxy A55 is the curved edges. While the more industrial flat screen, flat sides design could be more appealing to some users, we can't deny that having a phone with smoother curves is a lot more comfortable when using it on your hands, for especially for longer periods of time. But in terms of build quality, Samsung does appear to have the edge. No pun intended. Both the front and rear panels of the phone does have Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. This makes the phone a lot more resilient to scratches and perhaps also improves its longevity. Meanwhile, Realme only has a mentioned 0.5mm double reinforced glass layer for the display. No details follow aside from that description, but we can assume it's also scratch resistant, but not at the level of Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. Design-wise, the Realme 12 Pro Plus definitely piques our interest. While the Galaxy A55 lacks that appeal, it definitely has a more durable feel. Flip them over, and both phones also have distinct display specs. The Galaxy A55 sports a 6.6-inch .6 Super AMOLED display, and the Realme 12 Pro Plus boasts a slightly larger 6.7-inch curved OLED panel. Both screens offer full HD plus resolution and support up to 120 refresh rate. Both also have punch hole cutouts for their own selfie cameras. The panel on the Galaxy A55 is a bit brighter at 1000 nits of peak brightness, but the Realme isn't that far behind at 950 nits. Arguably, we We've preferred a flat screen on the A55 since we won't be getting the reflective glare with the curved sides. Although the catch is the uneven bezels, especially the chin that looks a lot thicker when you stare at it. And since you're staring at the phone all the time, it's, you're gonna notice it eventually. The Realme 12 Pro Plus, on the other hand, looks like it has significantly thinner bezels, perhaps due to the curved screen illusion. And they're a lot more uniform, at least in our eyes. Regardless, end users can expect an enjoyable viewing experience on these displays. Both of these are paired with dual stereo speakers and support for Dolby Atmos which can be toggled in the settings menu. All in all, both of the phone's display are quite on par with each other. In our opinion, choosing either panel, whether it's flat or curved, will be up to you. So which one do you like more, flat or curved? Now, when it comes to performance, on paper at least, the new Exynos 1480 chip inside the Galaxy A55 does appear to be slightly faster than the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 in the Realme 12 Pro Plus. The Exynos reaches up to 2.75GHz clock speed while the Snapdragon only reaches 
2.4 GHz. This is also something that our benchmarks tests have proved. Take Antutu test for example. The Galaxy H5 scored 60,000 points higher than the Realme 12 Pro Plus. But like always, the experience still varies in terms of real-world use. Users can expect both devices to deliver smooth performance across the board. With gaming in mind, minor hiccups are bearable, especially with the graphic-intensive titles such as Genshin Impact. But with lighter games like Asphalt 9 or Mobile Legends, these phones will be able to handle them with ease and no issue at all. But for the gamers out there, the Realme 12 Pro Plus does have a 3D vapor chamber cooling system to stay cool even when you're gaming for long periods of time. The Galaxy A55, well, after just a few minutes of playing Asphalt 9 with the graphics set to high and 60 FPS, the phone did heat up quite a bit, but it was still very manageable. In storage benchmarks though, the A55 had significantly lower scores and the right speeds than the Realme 12 Pro Plus 5G, suggesting it's using older storage technology. Speaking of storage, the Realme 12 Pro Plus has the absolute advantage in this area. It comes with a whopping 512GB of onboard storage paired with up to 24GB of memory with utilization of extended RAM. The Galaxy A55 is left with only 256GB of onboard storage and up to 16GB with its extended RAM. But on the bright side, only the A55 supports storage expansion at up to 1TB via microSD. So let's move on to the cameras. And this is where the Realme 12 Pro Plus really outshines the A55 by a mile or a lot more. For starters, both of these phones have a triple camera system, but the Realme has a more capable higher resolution camera to boot. You get a 64 megapixel periscopic telephoto slash portrait camera that can shoot up to 120 times super zoom images along with a 50 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens. Meanwhile, the A55 has an underwhelming set of cameras in comparison, a 50 megapixel main, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel macro. And both phones have a 32 megapixel selfie shooter at the top. Now, as you can expect, the Realme 12 Pro Plus captures sharp and vibrant images with spot on color reproduction. The post-processing is also commendable, capturing images with good dynamic range and more than acceptable contrast, even when you're shooting at night. Videos are superb with great detail and contrast, just like in the photos. It also supports up to 4K resolution video, but the optical image stabilization only applies to 1080p. The A55, on the other hand, has shown a lot of improvement compared to its predecessor. The new model still leaves a lot to be desired though when in terms of camera. First, we have to talk about the noise. Most of the footage and images we took had subtle noise when you're zoomed in, even under well-lit environments. Interestingly, night shots are a lot better though, and there's less apparent noise as well. In terms of color production, it is near accurate and with decent dynamic range. Video capability is also up to 4K with OIS as well. Both the Galaxy A55 and the Realme 12 Pro Plus pack the same 5000 mAh battery, but that's where the similarities end. Unfortunately, the Galaxy A55 follows the trend we're seeing more often, ditching the power brick. While this might be an eco-friendly move, it is a letdown for anyone that doesn't have a compatible charger lying around. For reference though, the A55 maxes out at 25 watts wired charging speed. The Realme 12 Pro Plus, on the other hand, does the opposite approach. It throws in a 67 watt fast charger in the box, letting you juice the phone up in roughly an hour. It's a clear advantage for those who prioritize a speedy recharge and those who don't want to worry about buying a separate charging brick. As for battery life itself, both phones hold their own. Our PC Mark Work 3.0 test yielded 13 hours and 12 minutes for the A55 and 12 hours and 19 minutes for the Realme 12 Pro Plus. These numbers translate to solid all-day performance under normal usage, but expect heavy gaming to drain the batteries of both these phones a lot faster. Both phones offer 5G support, in-screen optical fingerprint sensors, NFC in varying water and dust protection. IP67 on the Galaxy A55 and IP65 on the Realme 12 Pro Plus. What's great about the Galaxy A55 is that it supports eSIM capability. This means you can enjoy dual SIM capability without sacrificing storage expansion. Now, this one's a bit more subjective, but we prefer One UI a bit more since it comes with less bloatware, especially when compared to other Android skins, except maybe for Google's Pixel UI. For reference, both phones run on Android 14 out of the box with One UI 6.1 on the A55 and Realme UI 5.0 on the 12 Pro Plus. Dynamic Island, Realme has its own take. 
the flash capsule. While it isn't a one-to-one -one copy, it still acts like a dynamic notification that pops up on the upper left side of the screen. As for Samsung, well, they've been doing this sort of thing with their edge lighting and bubble notifications over the years. Other than that, software experience should still be fast and snappy on both devices. Still, this boils down to which Android skin you would prefer. Personally, we would say the Samsung takes the bacon here. Not to mention they promised to bring four major OS upgrades and five years of security patches for the A55. A similar treatment echoed from their flagship devices. Anyway, to wrap up this video, we should go back to the question. Which one? It's worth the price. In our comparison, we saw that the Realme 12 Pro Plus offers more to the table with its gorgeous design that'll turn heads, a camera system that punches above its weight, and a lot bigger storage. This makes it a very compelling choice in the upper mid-range segment, disrupting the competition. The Samsung Galaxy A55 5G takes a more understated approach. Sure, the cameras aren't class-leading, but it makes up for it with its smooth performance, a clean software experience, and a feature set that builds on the success of its predecessors. It's an all-rounder phone with a familiar feel for those who prioritize a balanced experience. Interestingly, the Realme 12 Pro Plus costs 1,000 pesos more at 25,999 pesos compared to the starting price of the A55 at 24,999 pesos. Ultimately, both phones offer something quite unique. The Realme 12 Pro Plus pushes boundaries while the Galaxy A55 refines a proven formula. And that's been our two cents in this comparison between the Galaxy A55 and the Realme 12 Pro Plus. Ultimately, the final choice will always be yours. But hey, which of these devices would you get and why? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, do hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels, which includes Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course, visit yougetech.com to stay updated with the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Jose, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.